Exciting times over here, I am going to take a closer look at my first Matter product from Sonoff. I have here their M5 Matter Wi-Fi dual wall switch. So if we get the paperwork out of the way and get it out of the box, you'll see here a very nice looking dual switch single gang faceplate. On the whole the faceplate looks pretty modern and slick looking. You can see here on the back we've got the inputs for live and neutral to power the thing which you will need a neutral and two switch live outputs, one for each switch. The initial feel is great, the buttons have a very tactile clicky feel. They do only work from the bottom as they are levered from the top which is pretty typical for this sort of switch. But they do seem to click and feel very nice to the touch. I think if we just have one more quick look in the box to make sure we're not missing it much. No, just some mounting screws. Let's move on to wiring this up to give it a test. As you can see there, it had a neat little safety plate over the top of the terminals, which I quite like. The one downside I know of this product that I know already is that it doesn't do detached relay mode, which would unlock a wealth of possibilities with double clicks and long presses to perform different actions, which would be really nice, especially up in my bedrooms where I already utilize these. Anyway, all I've done for now is taken a spare UK plug socket that I've got laying around and just wired up the live and neutral to the relevant terminals for now so that I can get it over to my bench to give it a test. So let's start by plugging it in, see how easy it is to get set up. Okay, it's all plugged in and powered up. I can see the status light very faintly there. So I'm just gonna fire up the Apple Home app and I'm gonna try and scan this QR code on the back to start with and see if that works. Yeah, that does appear to be the Matter QR code, perfect. Do of course make sure you make a note of this code somewhere that I think there is a copy in the box as well but you don't wanna wire it up and then realize you can't scan the code. Anyway, let's choose which room it's gonna go in and we'll give it a name quickly. Next, you can name the individual switches. I'm not gonna bother for now. I'm just gonna click add and take a look in the home app at the accessory. As you can see here, there are two switches. You can of course control them independently and they update when you flick the switches physically. So now I'm gonna go into the settings and turn on pairing mode and copy the code and jump into Home Assistant and try and do the same thing by adding it as a secondary ecosystem. And I can select the device here as it's shown up in pairing mode, paste the code in, and voila, add to Home Assistant. Easy as that. I now have it set up in both ecosystems. I can give it a name just like I did before, and I'll have a working switch in two ecosystems at once, all using Matter. Given the experience I've had with some Matter devices in the past, that was shockingly seamless. As they say, it just works. All right, let's move on to physically installing it here. I am aware that I stood in the way for most of this video, but here you can see I've taken the old switch off and I'm just removing the old Shelly that I was using. I'm wiring up the Sonoff M5 switch to my lights in my gym in my garden. And I've also got a fan above the door where I'm just gonna chop the plug off the end and wire that into the second input. So I'm gonna have a switch for the lights and a switch for the fan. So once that's all done and I've given it a quick test, all that's left to do is the tidy up. Perfect, that is already looking and feeling much nicer than the old bog standard UK switch. So as you can see there, that's turning the lights on and off. And this one controls the fan I have mounted above the doorway. And thanks to Home Assistant, particularly in this case, it was really easy to replace the old Shelly and smart plug that I was using for these two by simply naming the two switches with the same entity IDs as the old ones and then my existing automations for opening the door worked right away and also turning the fan on automatically when it gets hot. And I've also got an automation that says when I turn the light off and then close the door I want everything else in the gym to shut down as well. Honestly I've been super impressed with the speed and reliability of this switch so far so if you want to pick one up the links are on my website and remember home is where the smart is